Uh, Lake Titicaca is shared between Peru and Bolivia in the Andes Mountains. Uh, it is one of South America's largest lakes and the world's highest navigable body of water at 3,800 metres above sea level. Uh, we went for a boat trip on the lake. And our first stop was one of the floating islands where the Uro people live. Uh, the families that lived there were very welcoming. It was great to see uh, many children there with their families. Uh, they prepared their boat and then invited us to come for a ride. Yeah, I'm on Uro's Island at the moment and uh, these kids are taking me for a boat ride. Uh, I think it should be fun. I had a chat with the children. They told me their names and wanted to know where I was from. Oh, they were really lovely kids. Then off we went for a ride in their boat. Oh, the boat was a Totora boat. Uh, there were other reed boats out on the lake too. Uh, the men rowed us around. Uh, one of the most amazing things on this lake is the man-made floating islands. Uh, we learned how they make these islands. Uh, they have to travel five or six kilometres away uh, to where the reed roots are growing. October and November, the water in the lake is lower and this is the best time to harvest them. Uh, they cut the roots into four blocks and then they float them like a cork in the water. Uh, they use rowing boats to push the floating blocks to where they want the new island. Uh, they make the new islands to be about 40 metres long and 50 metres wide. Uh, they put a stick in the middle of the reed block and then tie them together with a rope. After about three months, uh, they are all growing together. Uh, they then put layers of cut reeds on top. Uh, every weekend for three months, they go and put another layer on top across the last layer. Uh, then they put a new layer across once per month. Uh, it takes two years to grow the island. Uh, then they build their houses. Our family group will live on the island. Uh, the reeds at the bottom of the island will rot away, so every three months they need to put a new layer of reeds on top of the island. Uh, for nine months of the year, the weather is dry and cold. Uh, they use dry reeds to light the fire. Can you see the fish in the pot? Uh, the families live there on the floating island. Uh, they make their boats out of reeds too. And they travel and fish in these reed boats. So this is uh, what they use to make the island and make it float. Uh, all these layers here. Pretty interesting. Uh, they showed us some of the fish that they uh, catch in the lake. Uh, there was a grey silver coloured fish. Uh, this one seems to have yellow on its tummy. Uh, this one's wriggling to try and get back in the water. And here are some more of the animals that live on the island. Uh, watch the one on the right shake its tail feathers. Ooh, a little dance. Uh, there are quite a few ducks on this island. A hungry baby ibis came up to us, wanting some food. It was calling out and following us around. I think it was very hungry. Uh, one of the men brought over some fish for it to eat and then fed it. Eight was hungry and kept wanting more. Uh, when its tummy was full, it walked away happy and content. 
Now, before we left the island, we met the president and thanked him very much for letting us come and see his island. 